Passing Strange is the hit new rock musical on Broadway here at the Belasco Theater. It's about a young artist and his coming of age in Europe in the 1980s. And we're going to go meet the creator of the show, Stu. He's also the star of it, so come on backstage with me and say hello to Stu. First of all, Stu, congratulations on the uh, great reception for Passing Strange. Um, now, you come from the rock world. What was it like, though, to be at your first Broadway opening where review after review comes along? That's a rave. Uh, it was surreal. It was kind of like, you know, La Dolce Vita, like the Fellini movie. Like, uh, all I can remember are flashing lights, honestly. I think people see that what's going on up there on stage is actually genuine. It's not something that was just created for like spectacle or there's not some big moment where some kind of crazy thing happens and something explodes or whatever. It's just actual human beings making music and acting and singing really well. Now, Stu, uh, you and I first met uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, you were telling me about working with um, uh, the Broadway Old Guard. Your producers are the Schubert Organization, who've been around for 100 years, and Elizabeth McCann, who's produced some 50 plays on Broadway. And there was a kind of cultural and uh, generational disconnect at times between you and your producers. And I wrote a column about that uh, that I guess you found kind of amusing. Yeah. No, I found it not only amusing, but it actually was like an icebreaker. I have to tell you, it, it really was, like, everyone, of course, here in the theater read it. I mean, like, stage hands were walking around with it. Jerry Schoenfeld, the head of the Schubert organization, often objected to Stu's drummer because he was so loud playing the drums, and he would call uh, Stu, uh, he would say, Stu, you have to control the exuberant drummer. Yeah. And did your uh, older producers ever come around to the fact that, because I know they were complaining the show was too loud, did they ever come around to the fact that it's a rock musical, it's going to be loud? They did come around to it. Yeah, they have come around to it, absolutely. <laughs> I saw my first musical when I was about 41. And, um, <laughs> and it was? <laughs> it was uh, How to Succeed in Business, a little production uh, in Los Angeles. What, what was it that got you thinking about putting together uh, a rock musical loosely based on your experiences as a young artist? My whole young life was about curiosity. And so I wanted to make a play about someone who is so curious that he just wants everything. He wants to know everything, he wants to do everything. Do you know what I mean? Every rock guy secretly wants to make a musical. Why? Because what, ha what, the, what, the, what the musical is, essentially, is it, it contains all the elements of a great rock show. We're talking big stage, we're talking big lights, you know, we're talking amazing sound, you know, an amazing stage. That's what every rock and roll guy wants. Uh, and another musical in you somewhere? No question, yeah, yeah. We belong here! We're blowing the off! We belong here! Yeah. You ain't never seen nothing like this!